Hey guys, this is Guns Kotaku coming to you on YouTube again. I know I haven't made a video in a while. Just haven't really felt that inspired, but uh, recently uh, I went to go to Design Within Reach to actually check out in person the new the new Embody chair from Herman Miller and Logitech, the one that Logitech and Herman Miller worked together uh, to create this new gaming chair uh, for... Uh, a luxury gaming chair, I guess, for gamers and streamers and stuff for long periods of sitting and stuff like that. And uh, I actually took a seat in both the original embodied chair they had there as well as the new Logitech uh, version of the chair. And there are some differences at first. Like, it does seem a little bit ridiculous that the price of the chair is around $1,500. Uh, I believe currently right now for the standard or, like, the best body office chair at normal price around $1,800 so you're technically saving money by going with the regular uh, by going with the Logitech in body chair uh, I did confirm some pricing on the thing uh, as well because usually Herman Miller does some uh, twice a year price decreases on their furniture uh, there's also an office uh, furniture sale the Logitech Amy chair is not ever going to be discounted it's already discounted for all the uh, design work they've done in the chair with Logitech, and Logitech kind of has a say in it too, from what I understand. Uh, I am not 100% sure on that, uh, but uh, it does seem to be that price is the price the price, because typically the embodied chair when it goes on sale is around the same price as the Logitech chair. And that's where this video comes into play. Uh, I didn't buy today. I probably will eventually buy it because I do have back problems uh, from the Navy, and when I sat in the chair, I will say, the body chair, both versions, uh, were very, very comfortable to me and adjusted to my spine. This chair actually has been pretty good to me. I know it's a gaming chair, but a lot of people are realizing that these gaming chairs uh, are usually trash. Noble chair really isn't all that trash. Uh, send me a sponsorship, noble chair. Uh, but <laughs> but uh, this has actually a, a, been a very good chair. I got this second hand, and this is actually a leather noble chair and it cost me like uh, 400 bucks uh, second hand it's normally new like seven eight hundred but that's kind of where the argument comes in about the embodied chair like if you're spending you know upwards of six five hundred dollars even on a chair that might eventually wear out and break uh then why wouldn't you just go ahead and save up a little bit more money and just buy a chair you'll never have to replace again that's the whole point of the herman miller embodied chairs like anybody knows if you look at like furniture fire sales and stuff after all these offices have shut down, that's another thing. Like right now you can find embody chairs for dirt cheap online. I don't know exactly where, but I know you could find them because, you know, the coof has made everybody shut down and offices shut down. And guess what? Some offices have embody chairs and they have a lot of money to spend on office furniture. And they get a deal from uh, Herman Miller and they stock their offices with Herman Miller furniture. Uh, so you could actually get an embody chair for a relatively affordable price, way affordable than a first hand. But to get the, there's the Logitech one, you have to buy it direct from Design Within Reach. And I'm actually gonna give some information down below of one of the salespeople there. Uh, I'm not gonna give her phone number, even though she did give me her phone number uh, on the card. I'm just gonna give her her email and stuff. And if you are interested in the uh, Herman Miller Logitech Embody Chair, uh, and I'm gonna be splicing up uh, pictures of uh, the chair in this uh, description as we're talking, so you've probably already seen a couple popped up. But if you are interested in the chair and you wanna buy it, it is on back order, like 2,000 chairs. Like, <laughs> it says online four weeks for delivery, uh, but that's not true. It's about eight weeks delivery if you wanna buy one. And I only expected to get more in high demand closer to Christmas and everything like that. I'm personally gonna wait about a month before I pull the trigger on it, if I do. Mainly because I want to kind of see if inventory and the demand goes up in between that time. I'm I just can't. I I am willing to spend fifteen hundred dollars on a good office chair or good gaming chair that I you know test out first. That's why I went out there. But I'm not willing to wait eight weeks and dump fifteen hundred dollars into something. That's just not something. When I spend fifteen hundred dollars, I expect it there within a month. If it, that, like two months, that's a little bit ridiculous. And that's like money. Like, they, I'm hoping they have an option where I've just put some money down and just be like, hey, listen, you know, I reserve it. You know, here's 200 bucks. Just give me my chair that I'll pay the rest. They need to have that option because I'd be more than willing to do that. 
than dropping 1,500 bones on just one chair. I mean, granted, I did spend 5,000 on the uh, Eames Lounge chair, but that one came within like two weeks. <laughs> Same thing with my Noguchi table over there. Like, they, they, they got here really quickly. So, uh, long short of it, I'm gonna splice the video in here. It's very, very short because I only, they, they were kind enough to let me shoot video and shoot pictures of it. Uh, and uh, their only request was to put their information down in the video. Uh, see if anybody is interested. If you're interested in the chair and you're in the Dallas area, this is the Dallas uh, Design Within Reach. Uh, in, I forget what mall. Uh, but I'll give the address to it as well. And uh, yeah, it's in dis it's on display. You can compare it directly with the old embodied chair that they have in there and get the difference. That I can tell a little bit of extra foam. The fabric is different. The adjustments are all the same. It's still in the body chair. And the, supposedly there's like cooling coil, copper coils in the foam. There's definitely a change in the foam uh, and the seat. It is more comfortable, but the olden body is still also comfortable. And the hand rests aren't really a leather. It's, I think it, if it is a leather, it's a very rubbery leather. Uh, but they are more robust and meant to absorb sweat, kind of like how these are. It's like the same material as this one that I have for my noble chair. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and lead into the other video. And once again, guys, as always, live good taku, be good taku. And this is the first time I've ever had it in the middle of the video, but it'll be interesting. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hey guys, this is Guns Good Taco here. This is going to be a short little video. I actually am here at Design Within Reach looking at embodied chairs. This is actually the Logitech embody chair and the regular embody chair. You can actually tell by that's the blue with the label. And this one right here, that's the difference in this one. This has got the Herman Miller badging on this. This one's different. They don't make this one. This one's got the white background, so this is a different chair, but it's still the same design chair. Uh, I went ahead and sat in both these chairs, and uh, I will say they obviously feel exactly the same. Uh, I will say the Logitech one does feel a little bit cooler because those are uh, copper cooling coils. Uh, and it has a little bit more cushion in the front and back. And because of these little extra ridges, the fabric seems a little bit better, and the uh, hand rests are a different material than this leather on the regular embodied chair. Right now, this chair is going for about $400 less than the regular embodied chair. This one's like $1,800, $1,900. This one's like $1,500 roughly around there. I'll put the exact prices in the video. But uh, I will say, for a chair, it's actually not that bad. Uh, it leans back only about this much. It leans back kind of further when you're all the way down. But I'll, I'll just go through a quick, quick thing up on the body so that you can find other places. Uh, the way you adjust it from here is you push down to bring this forward to make the seat bigger. And then you push up, pull up to make it go in. The hand rests, they pull up and they fold in, into your belly and out, so they go up and down. Uh, the back of the chair, the lumbar support, is actually adjusted uh, right here. This is actually the lumbar support, either uh, out is less tight and is more tight. I personally prefer the lumbar support completely tight. And this little nub is the up and raise. So I'll just do a demonstration right here. So I'm going to pull it down. There you go. And lower it down. And then to raise it. There you go. That raise it. And then this adjusts the actual lean back and lean forward. And there's actually one more adjustment right here. So this adjusts how much you can lean back in each notch. All the way down is all the way back. And each notch is just slightly less inclined. Uh, but yeah, that's the basic video on the Logitech chair. I'm probably, I'm gonna buy one of these. So uh, I'll let y'all know when I get a full review on it, but this is just a simple review. Thanks.